I just bought this. This is NARS bombshell. Bombshell. It's a silvery oh, thingy. Okay. As a highlight, I yes. would suppose. I use powder for my eyebrows because I'm not good with pencil and I find that pencil is a bit harsh. Very right? harsh. So I usually fill the eyebrow and extend it just a little bit. I see that thicker eyebrows are making a big comeback. It's no more those pencil thin, mm -hmm. very arch eyebrows mm -hmm. anymore. In fact, I quite like it because it looks softer and not so hard. Yeah, yeah, and it's also low maintenance like that. So I you girls out there, stop over plucking your yes, eyebrows. I plucking. see that's a real major problem <laughs> in this town. I like a little bit of eyeliner, and again, I use the same thing, eyeshadow that I use for my lid. This eyeshadow palette is from Mac, right? Yeah. Actually, a neutral palette like this. Just about anyone of any skin yeah, colour right. could be using. Yeah. Now I use a pencil to mm -hmm. line my um, upper, upper eyelid. eyelid. I do a full one, a thin full one, mm -hmm. and then a little bit thicker on the outer corners. So now you're just brushing your eyebrows. Then. Yeah, just to comb it a bit. Yeah. Actually, there are two very good eyelash colour. One is from Shiseido and one is from Shiseido. Yeah. It, it does not hurt your lashes right? and it's shaped in such a way that when you curl them, it looks natural. It's a natural curl then, more than a, like a, like that. a straight <laughs> yeah. one going yeah. up to the heavens. And never, like, you always curl your lashes and then you put on mascara right. and not the other way around. Right. That would break your lashes. Right. Not too much. If not, I'll look like a transvestite. <laughs> <laughs> or perpetually surprised. <laughs> <laughs> So next is the mascara, huh? Yes. I use a lot of uh, Maybelline uh -huh. uh, and Lancome. Really and I use waterproof uh, mascara because my eyes tend to... Water, I yes, remember. you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did a shoot with uh, Carmen once and I forgot to use waterproof mascara and she looked like a raccoon because <laughs> her eyes are really sensitive. And I notice you do your upper eyelash first before you do your lower. Yeah. Do you always do that? Yes. Yeah, I don't remember why though. I met a makeup artist that actually told me it was better to do your lower lashes first. Oh, why? I have no idea, I forgot why. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're just separating the clumps, right? Yeah, because having clumps on your eyelashes is... Yeah, it's not a good look. It's not a good look. <laughs> Before I put on lipstick, I actually dust a bit of powder again. I usually put the focus on my eyes because I like lighter lipstick right. colour. Yeah. What lips are we going to be doing today? Okay, I like a bit like very natural lip colour. So I'm using Laura Mercier, it's called Nude Lips. I use this actually quite a lot, I use yeah. it during the day. Day and night, night, right? So I just lightly apply... Just you care. just apply it straight from the tube. Huh? Yeah. And I like juicy tubes from Lancome. I have different colours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, is a, this is a clear one and uh, it's very shiny. Well, I'm done. This is my look for the evening. Well, this is my look for most of the things that I go out because it's a very natural uh, makeup, and I can I can use this during the day or the night whenever I have to go for some functions which require a decent amount of makeup. And that's one more thing I want to add that I I realized that I didn't try to blend any foundation on my neck, but I do that uh, with the powder a little bit here because um, my foundation is uh, very close to my skin color, so it doesn't look like there's any big difference. So. You know, daily you have tons of makeup artists, uh, hairdressers teasing your hair, piling on the makeup on your skin. How do you manage to keep your skin so good? Uh, I What's think, your secret, Carmen? Come on, tell us. I think us. as years pass by, of course, I've noticed that um, uh, my skin cannot really take um, as much as I it used to be able to take. So I think I take more care, uh, slap on a mask, uh, I always remove my makeup, always, always remove my makeup. Um, try to eat right, sleep. Yeah, I yeah. guess uh, it's a maintenance thing. Do you have any tips for young up and coming models? I think right now it's it's, it's easier. The opportunities are, opportunities are more, and you can just call up uh, the different agencies to get into it. Go around for castings. I think Malaysia is too small to be contracted to any agency. It's best to be freelance, and um, your contact will be bigger, more jobs available. Uh, know your worth. Know what is the market price, and not just 
do a job just because um, it's a job. You just want to get into modeling because that spoils the market price and you're actually working so hard for an amount that is way less. You know, you can actually get much more. Uh, get a good agent. Um, of course, don't... Because different agencies in Malaysia can determine the kind of jobs that you right. get. Whether it's the... <laughs> the crappy ones. Uh, the crappy ones. <laughs> That's <Oops>. nice. <laughs> the crappy ones or uh, the, the better paying ones. Okay, being beautiful. I know it has its good points, but it also has its bad points for being beautiful because people automatically think you are a bimbo. What hey. do you have to say to I'm that? not beautiful. Oh, I think you are. <laughs> I think you are one of the most beautiful women in Malaysia. Oh, I mean, thank you. She was on the 50, 50 most beautiful list by Ole. Yeah. And I just, I've seen you with and without makeup, Carmen. You look the same. Oh, so thank you, you Alex. You know, you are beautiful. There's no doubt about it. Let's you know. uh, change I mean, look the at question. Her, all of you. Uh, I think there's good and bad. A lot of bad because, especially from girls, they seem to feel somewhat defensive, which you may not have done any. Maybe you just walk past someone and you can hear people comment about, oh, she's, she's not that beautiful. She's not that pretty. It's like, what did I do? I just walked past you. So uh, I think we just have to be happy with what we're doing and not care about what people say. The good things is if you need to buy something or cut queue or something, it's good. They say, ah, oh, I know you. Come, come, come. No need to queue up or I'll give you discounts. Okay. So that's good and bad. <laughs> okay, so don't hate her because she's beautiful. Oh, Alex. Carmen Sue, thank you very <laughs> thank much, Thank you, Carmen. Alex. Thank you.